Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shada, and today I have something a little different to share with you. Um, it's sort of part tutorial, but it's part more um, sort of a behind the scenes um, with me in the shop, so I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, what I did is, okay, well, in case you didn't hear, I opened a little seasonal gift shop this summer in Prince Edward Island called the Geranium and it's open from June through September so just for the summer so it's almost over for the year which is crazy um, but when I began and when we were setting up for the store I wanted to create a focal point um, that would sort of just be a nice attention grabber and so I decided sort of an easy well not easy but an inexpensive way to do this would be to um, do some chalkboard art and so I filmed kind of a little tutorial and then I had all the pieces to create the video but I couldn't really work it into a format that I was happy with and I didn't have a lot of time. So um, even though I filmed this back in early June um, and it's now September, I'm, I've got it put together and I want to share it with you and I'm going to include the original intro that I shot way back in June before I'd even opened, which seems like a lifetime ago now. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And I do, I think I give some good tips uh, for chalkboard lettering. It's not super in-depth and I didn't film myself doing the entire chalkboard because, um, yeah, it was just a really hard project. And um, having a camera on you uh, is kind of kind of tough. And it did take me, I think it took about nine hours. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of the sort of work that went into this. But I'm going to show you the process that I did use and I hope it'll help. And I hope you'll enjoy watching a, a double intro. <laughs> um, so let's, let's get to it. I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks for blackboard lettering. Now I'm really excited about this tutorial and there's a couple reasons for that. The first is that I'm opening a store, if you haven't heard. It's called the Geranium Gift Shop and it's in St. Peter's Bay, Prince Edward Island. I did a video about it last week um, and you can check that out on my channel if you want to catch up on all the news. So I'm very excited. It feels really good to be bringing all my creative endeavors into a sort of physical space. So I've been curating the shop and decorating and doing lots of projects to really bring the, the store to life. And the blackboard is one such project. Um, and then there's another reason that I'm like doubly, doubly excited about this blackboard. And that is that I've always done chalkboards for the businesses I've worked at. So whether it was a bar or a restaurant or a shop, I would do the boards. And I love doing that but it felt really, really good yesterday to do a chalkboard for my own business. So that was really cool. I spent all day yesterday working on the piece behind me here, and today I'm gonna to finish it on camera, and I'm gonna share some tips with you guys. So let's get started. So let's start with my big secret to blackboard lettering, and that is to have some sort of projector. You can see I've got a little camera projector here. That's the light that you see on the side of my head and that allows me to basically just trace. So what I suggest you do is start off by designing your entire blackboard on a computer. So here I'm using PicMonkey and that allows me to choose all the different fonts that I might want to use and I can move stuff around and add some graphics and borders and play around with things and um, you know really use the computer to your advantage and help you get the design perfect before you even start. Of course, once you've got the design looking just the way you want, um, you can save it and then I suggest printing it out depending what sort of um, projector you're going to use. I'm using a little camera projector, so it's a camcorder that also has a, a projection feature, but you could use like an old-fashioned overhead projector or whatever. So here's what I'm using. It's my little Sony handheld that's great if you are doing like vacation filming. And um, what I do is I'll just take my printout um, and all I have to do is take a photo of it. Then I uh, go choose that photo and I use the project feature. And that allows the camera to just project whatever um, photo I choose. And of course I used it for the full design which you saw me working on on PicMonkey. And now I'm just, I have some sort of 
flare some different shapes that I'd like to add to that design so that's what I'm doing and you can see here I'm going to um, put the projection where I want on the blackboard now it does get quite faint especially since I was filming with the lights on um, but it's still you're still able to see it so I just put the camcorder on a tripod and I get it in the exact right spot get it looking just um, just so and then I'm ready to go in with my chalk and start drawing. Okay, and here's my other big secret. Um, you really have to sharpen the chalk, and I do that by taking an X-Acto knife and just regular school, school chalk, and I just sharpen it. I just go around and around um, until I've got a nice fine point, and I'll keep resharpening as I work. So with a well thought out design, solid projection, and a nice sharp piece of chalk, you're very well set up to do a very professional looking blackboard. So if you um, were an artist or a hand letterer and you do get asked to do the chalkboards for a business, these are some um, tips that are really going to help you. And you, you actually, this might seem a bit of a bummer, but you don't even have to have great hand lettering because you're going to allow the computer to help you with that. What you do need is a steady hand and you need to have the confidence. Um, you've just sort of got this faint projection and you need to keep your chalk nice and sharp and just have the confidence that you can do it and, um, and I think your board will turn out really, really nice. Here I'm going in and I'm adding a little bit of detail. Anytime I have uh, extra chalk or smudges, I use a wet paper towel or a wet uh, tiny paintbrush and I just get rid of any smudges or dustiness. And for any items that you want to shade, the first thing you need to think about is are you doing a negative or positive image because the blackboard is already black. So are you going to use the white chalk as your shadow and shading and dark space like I'm doing here or do you want to reverse it? So make your decision. I usually use the white chalk to do my shading. Um, but it depends on the object. And here I'm just doing a little cross hatching, very, very tiny cross hatching um, to give a little bit of, of depth, the look of depth to this um, uh, banner. So a well thought out computer design plus a good projector plus sharp chalk on a nice wiped clean black chalkboard is how I create a really professional looking chalkboard design. I hope you guys feel like you learned a little something. Another idea is to also take your own hand lettering that you've designed on graph paper and project that so it doesn't have to be computer designed. In the end, I decided to wipe away the scroll. It just, and I don't know, it looked a little too piratey or something. Um, and I ended up drawing a few starfish. Here's what the chalkboard looked like the day I started. I had tin foil in the windows and a nice dark room. And here's what it looked like all summer. It, Turned out to be a great focal point for the shop, a really nice conversation piece, um, and I got to have a lot of nice conversations with people about the things to do in the area. And yeah, it was sort of um, an anchor for the store. So it, it worked out really well. One last thing I'll mention is that if you're doing a chalkboard for professional use, you're probably gonna wanna seal it. And I recommend using a hairspray or a spray sealant, which just looks like um, a clear spray paint and that'll help your chalkboard last. Now I didn't seal mine um, and a few people did touch it. They would just touch the border to see if it was real or not. I guess they thought I could easily touch up the border, which is true, um, but I just love the ephemeral beauty of a chalkboard like a flower. It doesn't last forever and that's what makes it so cool. Thanks for watching today guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week.